Blog Talk Radio. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, world? It's badass thugging like I usually do. And you better turn it up, bust some speakers out, because we off the motherfucking cup. You dig how we do it? Dog Pound Gangsters 2000 and beyond. Yo, yo, check this out. This is your girl, Cola Boke, and I'm chilling with my boys right here on Off the Cuff Radio. Because we off the cuff right now. You big? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. What's up? What's up? It's your boy, Lil Yap, with UNLV. Ragging up from the river. Cooling with my homies and my family at Off the Cuff Radio. Y'all be sure to tune in on Fridays and get the latest scoop and find out what's happening. You hoit me? Tiffany Levine. And this Queen Crazy, your girl, favorite bartender. And we're from Sex on the Rocks Podcast. All right, you're now tuning in to Off the Cuff Radio. Yeah, because they keep representing that world hip hop. Well, much love. All right. Giving a shout out to the live show on Friday nights off the cuff radio. And I'm live from the 704. Make sure y'all tune in for the blazing hot music. Hey y'all, this is Stacey Lachey giving a shout out to King Eric and off the cuff radio. What's shaking, y'all? This is the grand. One half of Lost Cause and one third of that drive time thing. Sending my love to the homies over at Off The Cuff Radio. Tune in every Friday night for some real deal hip-hop conversation. These dudes are the connoisseurs of this thing. You already know what it is. BX Stand Up, Hud City, we're shaking. Peace. Yo, this is Joe Fresh to Dine, and y'all tuned in to the most raw, uncut show on radio. The guillotine team, Off The Cuff. And yo, Eric Sandman, Off The Cuff. Oh, my God. 
gangsta, man. Why you niggas switching up like 10 speeds? I'ma stay gangsta on this here beach cruise. You did? Tapped in at episode 344 of the Live is Hip Hop show on Friday nights and Sunday nights and whatever we go live. You are now tuned in at Off the Cuff Radio. I am your host, King Eric the Great. And we have a special show going down. I'm going to be joined by my co host, T Max, with the facts within an hour. But in the meantime, I'm going to hold it down for y'all on the solo tip. Sponsored by Buddy Boy Entertainment, sponsored by Soon to Be Screwball Radio, sponsored by Jesse's Boutiques, and sponsored by Core Financial. And man, do we have a special show lined up for tonight, man. This cat right here, been putting it down for 30 plus years, one of the most inconsistent OGs in the game. This man has worked with almost anybody under the sun. And he's back with a new project, with a new campaign, a new dance movement, and he's here to talk about it with us on Off the Cuff Radio. So, without further ado, let's bring on the West Coast Funkadelic and a personal good friend of mine, Mr. Cocaine, y'all. Hey, what's happening with it, Cat Daddy? Much love, nephew. Yes, indeed, man. It's great to have you back on, man. You know, it's always a family affair when you want to rock it with us. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Speaking of family affair, man, we we had a good conversation earlier talking about my daughter's new single about to come out first uh, sure. November the sixth. Uh, so I want to say that before I make my announcements on the monkey wasn't funky. Back at you again, Anissa Long will be coming out November the sixth on. Um, she got a single coming out called F Boy Sign, and then my other artist, his name is uh, Justin Blue Moon. He'll be coming out. With a song called Man Please October 23rd So we make making sure the youngins You know that's a part of Buddy Boy Get theirs off But they ride the momentum of the monkey wasn't funky Yes sir Y'all heard that So be sure to follow that Be sure to be tapped in I'm going to be, I'm gonna be on, the, on the side promoting that as well For y'all Yes sir So Happy to be a part of it man And appreciate you always rocking with us man Solid, not solid. Appreciate you too, man, for allowing us to be a part of your movement. And the good thing about it is, we're seeing a lot of the youth embracing your your sound, your music. So it shows right there that there's still a place for the, the G Funk sound. Oh man, if it's good for you, it's good to you. You know, vice versa. And uh, this is a chance, you know, a token of my appreciation. To get back to the, you know, to the culture You know, the culture consists of hip-hop, funk, music, soul, dance Pop, lock, and break, dance, and crumping You know, wherever it was the ghetto at That's where that beautiful culture, you know, expression And, um, you know, you want to get back to that expression So this is my way, especially in this messed up economy And people really need the money, man People need 20 bucks and extra in their pocket, so in this case, we're giving away a thousand dollars to make up a dance for my brand new single called "The Monkey What Funky," and it don't matter if you're young, it don't matter if you're, you know, twenty, fifty, even a grandma. It's something that that across the board, it's a fun record, and that's what we want to do: be able to balance this out. You don't. It's not about killing, uh, killing a bunch of people in a sixteen verse. It's about put your pistols in the car. The kids are watching. Let's go ahead and have fun and dance to Cocaine's brand new single, Monkey Wasn't Funky. So the kids have taken to it. The actual contest started today, and it ends November the 20th. And two days after the contest, of course, we're going to pick a winner. It's also a second and third prize winner that just got introduced. So we don't want to leave, you know, some of the kids hanging and we want to make this a, 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 a fun record for the streets, for the clubs, especially for the kids, man. 
And I gotta say, man, you since you sent us the full version of this song, I was like, wow, man. That, that's that's what stands with the ability that you have, man. Is that you still make the G funk sound sound so fresh in 2020? Because you know we live in a real time where you know everybody's so critical and everybody's so quick to say this sound is outdated or this sound dated, but Whenever you come out with something, it sounds crispy and fresh. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's different strokes for different folks, man. You know, I don't. I learned not to knock these kids that are coming up and doing their style of music because to tell you the truth, when we were kids, our grandparents didn't understand hip-hop, you know, but they understood funk. Trust that. They understood funk. So this is something that out of the West Coast, that really made the West Coast was the Parliament and funk, Funkadelic sound. So mm-hmm. you can't invent the real. We just put some shiny hubcaps on them 24s. You know what I mean? And across yes, the sir. board, man, it's I appreciate all the kids out there, man. That that was surprising that the kids would really take to it. And big ups to cats like yourself, the unsung hero, some cool boy. My partner up here, you know, of course, my family and buddy boy, wifey and kids. It's like everybody is participating on this particular record. And we're going to see where it's going to take us, man. We believe it's going to take us to the moon. Uh, Japan is chiming in. Canada is chiming in. Australia, London, Paris. I mean, it's just crazy, man. But the timing is, is impeccable and it's on point. So who produced the record? Man, my boy from France, Mofak. Mofak, man, he's a cold producer, man. Everybody mess with him. Your who's who, and he's a pop locker too as well. So he was able to produce some stuff on my album, the new Sugar Cane album that's coming out. Plus he did some stuff off the King of G Funk. This guy is really incredible. He's a master musician. And it's just like, man, it ain't where you're from. It's where you're at. I don't care if you're in Germany. I don't care if you're in France or Pomona or California, Tacoma or the Carolinas. Man, it's something about the funk, man, that transcends all time and space and music, in my humble opinion. And I think that's why this particular fun record is really hitting the kids, man. So when people hear this record, I haven't had one person say, this record is outdated. If anything, I have people that, that are used to you doing trap or used to doing the, that coming to my page like, man, we really like this, man. This is this is different from my style, OG, but for some reason, I can't help but shake my ass to it. <laughs> you know? Hey, you know what, man? It's just... Uh... It's just a testament of how far talent takes you, man. It just like, and also shows that you have a, a aptitude for still trying to do good music. You don't really treat it as a job; you treat it as something that you love to do. So that, that's a reflection of that. Right, right. Well, you know, music in my DNA, so I can't help it. You know, I'll be doing music till I, you know, pass on the heaven. You know what I mean? But it feel good to pass the baton down to my family. And uh, especially my daughter, she just turned 25, and uh, she's about ready to finally come out with an album next year. But we're pushing this, her single called F-Boy Signs. That's coming out November the 6th, along with the video. And then we have our new artist, like I told you, from Ohio. Big ups to all the Ohio MCs out there. Uh, His name is uh, Justin Blue Moon. He got a cut called Man Please. So man, we've been pretty busy over here, man. We 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 we've been working our buns off, kind of like laid back a little bit because 2020 was ugly, but yeah. it's looking bright now. You know what I'm saying? So we're ready to put this good music, man, to help life a little more better in this messed up ass virus situation. So yeah, you also got a documentary in the works too, right? Yes. It's going to be the documentary, the Dope Sells Itself documentary. That's actually coming out in the summer, but, you know, we're recruiting a lot of cats from comedian world to the sports world, you know, until, you know, the the comrades in the game. You know, um, 
My boy is helping me put that together. My boy Gato, who runs my clothing line, the cocaine gear. And my guy, uh, Battle Rabbit, who's also at the Wire Lounge in California, which be doing a lot of live streaming. In fact, we got a show coming up Halloween night uh, in L.A., you know. But, um, yeah, we finna blow this single off the water, man. And the good thing about it is it, it's pushing it right from the ground up. It's kind of going back to the crush group where it wasn't no internet. It wasn't no this and that. You know what I mean? You just simply had to right. go to the backyard boogies, go to the clubs with the DJs. See, and that's what we're doing with this uh, with this record, man, is getting it to the people in the streets. Because in my humble opinion, the streets and the people are the most important as opposed to the politics. And we don't do politics. That's the beautiful thing about the legendary cocaine and Buddy Boy Entertainment is that we are major. Moving indie, though. And what I like about what you guys is doing, man, is that you keep it within family. And that's inspiring to us because you're putting everybody on board to get a position. Like you have your sons doing the cover work and you have another one doing the videography. And you have your wife running the company. It's like very inspirable to see y'all taking your destiny in your own hands. Because that's what it's all about, that foundation. Why? Well, you know, ain't nothing more important than family to me, you know. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I tell you, if it is your cup of tea, it's going to be the best cup of tea you have. You know what I mean? It, 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 it sets the motion. It sets everything in the right right space in your life. And, you know, that's that's kind of rare that you have a big family pushing like that and, and pushing – you know, the business line like that. So, yeah, Buddy Boy Entertainment is definitely a family-orientated business. We've been going, we've been uh, established for 13 years. And it was tough at first, but anything that you believe in, you're going to go through the bumps and bruises. But through consistency and always staying hungry, you know, people will end up, end up getting it, man. As long as you don't lose your hunger. I don't care how much money you make, just don't lose your hunger we did never let the money get to us. You know what I mean? We, we were mostly like, we love music, period. We come from music royalty, and we're going to stay consistent because music is supposed to make the artist feel good, but the artist feel even better, man, when it makes the people feel good. So I've been fortunate enough to still make the people feel good. And not to mention the fact that you still also in high demand with a lot of these, a lot of your peers when they drop projects. Like I even had to repost this one and with the MCA project, which is one of the best yeah. albums you that's, that's out right now, and you was a part of that. So it's a right. great thing seeing that cats from your from this era that we grew up is still putting out fresh music. So what was it like working with him? Oh, that's my partner. I've been knowing H since 1990. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we all mess with the same cat. Cat, That was back in the days when they had this magazine called Rap Pages and Rap Sheet. You know what I mean? So we've been knowing each other, man, for like 30 years, brother. And I always liked his music, his, his, his movies. He's always been a fan of mine. We're fan of each other's, but we brothers, right. man. Yeah, because I want to yeah, know, because did you guys do a song together before? This was the first time you guys worked together. I mean, I just, my memory is Nah, a we bit got off. songs. We okay. got songs. You just got to type in cocaine and MCA and it show up right there. You know? That's what it do, man. And not to mention, the, even the big boss dog, he had to get back down with the movement, man. You, I heard the song that y'all was previewing the other day with Battle Cat. Right. That thing sounds heavy as well. Whew. Yeah, basically everybody realized that, hey, you know, there's uh, the only thing between us is space. So it was cool when uh, Dog got at me because he already know a uh, specific sound that in the chemistry is, is, is really like unmatched. You know what I mean? When we go there. And he got at me and we, we did a song called Talk That Shit to Me. And um, 
man, it's an incredible song. It's it's uh, it's the right time. The Lakers won. You know, we champs again. And you know, it's like LeBron James when he said, "I want my damn respect." So basically, that was that type of song was a spinoff because I kind of knew L.A. was going to win, and I kind of knew LeBron James, Snoop Dogg, talk that shit to me, L.A. champs. And you know, when I pre- previewed the song on the YouTube channel, a lot of people gave me some feedback, and they was telling us, hey, this is like some last meal type stuff. You know, that album was a classic. So y'all oh, bringing it back to man. the rest. Yeah, we bringing it back on the map, man, like, no strings attached, nephew. And uh, it's 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 uh it's gonna be an explosion, man. Put it like that. What's about to happen from the west is gonna be huge, bro. And that's wild to me, man. Because when I look at your name, man, it's not. It's just you know what you have a high regards with your legacy, like. If anybody type up six degrees of separation, your name just pops up everywhere. So it's great to see that the legends that put it down are still doing their thing and getting their flowers. And somebody shot me this question here. That, you know, they want to confirm of this story here. Like, what was it, the story about you possibly working with Michael Jackson? Was that really going to happen? Well, what it was, it wasn't that I was going to work with Michael Jackson. It, when I first came to Ruthless, Dr. Dre was also going to be a producer on um, on uh, my first album, Signing to Ruthless Records. Well, originally, Hutch had recorded um, the Billy Jean sample. And when he did the Billy Jean sample... Dre did his thing on there, you know, like like he did with the other Bubba the Law Records, Hutch produced, and Dre put it, put his mix in it. But the the thing is, we were me and Michael Jackson were label mates at Epic Records. That's who I was with, Epic Records. So, Dr. Dre and Easy, you know, got at Mike's peak and said, "I got this record, man, for the new artist named Cocaine." And he's like, "Yeah, I'm familiar with Cocaine." guy that signed the Epic Records. I'm way familiar with it. But, at the same time, this is Mike talking to Dre, Jerry Eller, and all them. His people's talking to him. He said, it, it, they can use the sample, but Dr. Dre got to give me six beats and he's not going to get the publishing. I'll give him the credit. So that turned that down. They was like, man, fuck that. Like, hey. <laughs> you know, at that time, NWA was hot. You know what I'm saying? So they they reneged on it, man. But uh, if Dr. Dre would have relinquished those beats, man, I, I, that would have been one of the first rappers that was able to use a Michael Jackson beat. And that was 1989-90. Man, that goes to show how cold Mike was when it came to the publishing game, man. Like, he was going to oh, Dr. Dre like that. Gangsta. Yeah. Paper Don't gangster. let the soft voice Yeah he was about his power Bread mobilization You know And he's, he's, he's You know he's definitely one of my biggest idols Michael Jackson But that shows you know? to me that It shows how much they They took their art serious Cause they know that yeah. it's gonna have value In the long run Why? Right. Absolutely brother and that's why we're here, you know, is to, uh, you know, uphold the integrity of good music, the authenticity of good music, live instrumentation, theatrics, dance, art, culture. That's what the sound of cocaine is really waking the youngsters back up again, letting them know, man, the feeling that you get out of here in Monkey Wasn't Funky. It's the reason why you get that feeling because it comes from the universe. Yes, yeah, it's like when you hear that record, you it not only takes back to the colorful funk sounds, but also that type of vibe from the seventies and eighties. It has a feel good energy. And that's like really lacking in a lot of the music that's played today. It still had that weird 
demonic trap sound, but with this here, people just want to feel happy sometimes because it's like 2020 has just been a beast as it is. So we need that balance. Yeah. Definitely need the balance. And with this record, man, we finna get it all over the world, man. We just starting in the contest. It, it ends in November, so it has a chance, man. And you know, it's a blessing to do direct marketing with people. That really feel the music, you know, as opposed to go here, go to iTunes all the time. No, I like to have hands on with the people, you know, and that's right. just me. And you know what? I'm going to tell you this, man. This is my personal opinion. I think this is a testament of how successful you are because you're easy accessible to the people. Like anybody right. that want to reach to you for like a whatever be a podcast or an interview you don't even a care, feature? whatever it be, like, a person has three subscribers or 300,000. It's like, if I like what he's talking about, if I like the game that he's spitting, I'll chop it up with him. Yeah, man. And plus, man, I, I, I definitely, I, I'm definitely grateful for all the, like, fans and, like, DJs, like, you know, cats, like, Classic from the fleet DJs and DJ Johnny O and Half and you know my assistant right here E. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I'm just grateful, man. I'm humbled and I'm grateful, man. And you know, with that being said, we you know it's the spirit of love that is conquering everybody's heart with the cocaine sound, so to speak. Now, this is going to be the lead single, so is this going to be on the following album you're going to drop? Yeah, the new album is, uh, I, I originally called it Wake Up to Get Your Cake Up, but I'm really going back into my uh, Afrocentricity, uh, back to the 70s. So I call this album Give Me Five on the Black Hand Side. <laughs> mm-hmm, so... That's the old catchy cliche of saying that, you know, it was real popular in the 70s and 80s in the ghettos. So we want to take it back to that. Give me five on the black hand side. When you hear this new cocaine album, records like Monkey Wasn't Funky and other records that I've been kind of teasing people with, this is not no rap album. This is a funk and soul album, pure, uncut, P-funk, G-funk, and K-funk. So it's something different for the world, but all those uh, different elements tied into one. And yeah, we're doing some rap, and I like to tell people I'm not a rapper. I'm just a funkster that know how to bust. So it's something that, man, it's like a movie. We're going to put out a movie, but it's going to be on audio. You know what I mean? And this is the first single. We ride and rock it with the single for the next three or four months. This will be on all the radio, P1, P2 stations. This will be in all the dance sorority uh, shows and events. This record is going everywhere. You know what I mean? And the best part of it is that it's starting from the ground up. Now, you're going to hit us with one of those uh, black exploitation covers? Because, you know, them, them things were classics in the 70s. Are you going to hit us with one of those oh, classic looking man. covers? You, are, you already know I'm headed here. You see me in my video, man. I got my whole <laughs> funk suit on, man. I'm, I mean, I had George Clinton hit me up. It was like, man, he was like, you got it. He said, woof. I said, okay, that's confirmation for me. And then cats like Battle Cat and Snoop Dogg saying this shit, dang it. You know, besides the people, man. So we're going to work it. You know, I tend to not celebrate until I cross the finish line. But so far, so good. Yes, indeed, man. I mean, I'm excited about the project itself, Ed. And the fact that y'all doing this on an independent operation, that shows me right there that there's no compromise within the music. It's coming purely from the heart. Right, right. And it's all smooth. It's real easy to enter the contest. You know, here's how the contest works. All contestants must go to YouTube and type in cocaine, Monkey was a funky thousand dollar dance contest. Once you do that, all contestants must must take that 
video clip because they're using the audio in the background. Use it for your dance videos. You're going to dance to that YouTube clip. And then once you finish your video, you're going to tag us at cocaine, that's spelled K-O-K-A-N-E, dance contest. And that's on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Super simple. Once you tag your video, you got to make sure you put hashtag monkey wasn't funky. That's hashtag M-O-N-K-E-Y-W-A-S-N-T-F-O-N-K-Y. Not with the U, F-O-N-K-Y. So that's hashtag monkey wasn't funky on all your video posts. And you'll have a quick chance to win that uh, uh, $1,000 cash prize. But make sure that you put hashtag monkey what funky because IG and all those social sites, they collect like a database of everybody who's chiming in because we want to make it easy for you. We don't want to have to look for you. We want you to be right there so that way when we get at you, we can give you a 1000 prize. You can, you know, get to, you can go buy a car, buy a fit, and also introduce. We're doing a second and third place winner, so we'll maybe get. I don't want to say what we'll, we'll give second and third place, but we're make we're making this good uh, for the kids and people of our generation. Man, this is this is going to be a phenomenal journey. Yes, indeed, man. Y'all need to go ahead. Write down all that information, Google it, tattoo it. It don't matter, man. If you want that 1K, Mm -hmm. I better bust them dance moves, man. Yeah. And then all the dancers, you know, all the emails that we're collecting, there's a lot of emails right now, all the dancers, we're going to make sure we can can give you the the link, the pre-order link to actually buy the full song. That's right. That's right. So, matter of fact, what we're going to do is we're going to play the single again. Then we're going to go right okay. back to it. Just to give people a cool. highlight on what we what we pushing right here. Yeah, it's the brand new single by the legendary Cocaine. Monkey Wasn't Funky, produced by my boy from France, Mo Fox. Man, the dance is about to sweep the world off their feet. December the 4th is coming out. Monkey was his phone. Hi. All right.
Yes, sir, y'all. That was the new single, Cocaine Monkey Was a Funky. Crispier than the 2000 Steve Harvey headline. Man, that thing nah. short. Yeah, that thing moving, huh? Man, we groove over here with that joint, man. I mean, whoo. Yeah. So, yeah, man, this is it's all, man. I appreciate you getting the word, for getting the word out there. You're always solid. And um, y'all play this interview over if y'all need to hear the instructions. And um, coming up next, you know, off the cuff, is going to be the rest of Buddy Boy Artists. My daughter, Anissa Long, got a new single, again, called F-Boy Signs. That's dropping November 6th. And my new artist from Ohio, his name is Justin Blue Moon, and he has a cut called Man Please coming out October 23rd. So we working, man. This is a buddy boy affair, man. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Tell them about the the concert going down on Halloween. Oh, yeah. The concert October 31st, if you're in the L.A. area, come down and check out uh, the legendary Cole 187 and Cocaine. We are called the Architects of G-Funk. We're doing a live pay-per-view streaming. So you can get your tickets. Uh, whether you're in town, limited tickets, events are sold. They almost sold out. But you can watch it on pay-per-view at www.wirelounge.com. That's www.wirelounge.com. And that way you can, you know, hear some of the classics we're about to do as well as introducing that monkey with the funky on stage. There you have it right there. And one more question before I, before I let you go, man, because I know you got a lot of things to do. What advice would you give the youngsters that want to come up into the game, man? Um, be patient, first of all. Uh, have your own uniqueness. Uh, don't try to be like nobody else. It's cool to be inspired, but do your own thing. And sometimes it takes, when you have something great in front of you, it's going to take a little bit longer to get to your goal. But then that's that's the beauty about being on the road to success is that you learn along the way. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the end result of what I can tell you is that you specifically got to have tunnel vision. You can't be concentrate with what Lil Wayne doing all the time, what what over here doing all the time, or Snoop or anything. It's cool to be inspired by your favorite artist, but it's all about locking up like a pet bull and having tunnel vision. And if you're able to do that and you're able to have confidence about what you're doing with being patient and good product, you'll get to the point in place where you want to. There you have it, y'all. That's some inspiration there from the legendary cocaine on how to be great and even greater. And who knows? Follow that advice and you could get on anybody's top five when you really reach your peak. Yes, sir, man. It ain't hard, but if you're built for this shit, then you're going you're gonna to have to go through all your thorns and thistles and struggle, man. Like, But anything great has to have struggle, so don't feel bad for when you're struggling a little bit, don't feel bad when people seem not paying attention. You pay attention to yourself, and you'd be surprised how far you can go. Yes, and most importantly, just it's important to not get dis- discouraged, man, because social media has a tendency of doing that. They look at somebody else and see, oh, they got 10, 20,000 followers, whatever, whatever. But you never know. You just keep yeah. on working. You might get that one break. Yes, sir, man. That's what it is. Stay on the road. Yes, sir, man. But we appreciate you joining uh, us, man. You definitely welcome back. We're gonna be pushing that campaign forward. Yes, sir. And we're gonna definitely I also you, have a yeah, definitely also have Anisha and um a lot of the buddy boy roster to come do the shows. Yes, most definitely. We gotta get what you call in there before the twenty third. Um, Justin Blue Moon Because I want to play a single Break a single off the cuff And then prior to my daughter's new Single coming out That'll be November the 6th So we'll do it around that time You know what I mean It's, 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 it's the 3 coming out And 3 is a good number to me You know it's a, it's a trinity number 
So you got my new artist from Ohio coming out on twenty third. You got my daughter coming out November the sixth, and I'll be coming out with Monkey Wood and Funky December the fourth. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get it. Buddy boy. Let's get it, y'all. I'm about to sign up out of here. Big shout to my man T Max. We're gonna join us this Sunday night. We got a special episode going down. So be sure to yes, tap sir, in. Man, we much keep love. on moving, we keep on working. Man, we don't huff and puff when it's off the cuff. Hello. There we go. All right, nephew. Talk to you soon. All righty.